Hello and welcome back to Dukas Copy TV. Now, amidst the financial furore of what to do with Greece and where the crisis in Europe will take us next, an ECB-led task force has been reviewing Europe's banking sector. Well, on the line from Brussels is Guido Ravut, the Chief Executive of the European Banking Federation and Secretary General of the Eurobor EBF Foundation. Guido, thanks very much for joining me today. Now, the consultation on an EU banking union has officially ended after what seems so far to have provoked mixed reactions amongst Eurozone leaders. What exactly has been looked at and how will any changes affect future banking in the Eurozone? Well, I think the major uh, feature is that there will be only one supervisor. Uh, apparently, the proposal of the Commission is that it uh, would be the uh, European Central Bank. But uh, that means that all the banks finally are supervised by the same body, which is quite different from the situation we have now, um, that uh, we have colleges for the big cross-border banks, but in these colleges you have all the uh, national supervisors represented um, of those countries where the particular bank is active. Um, and uh, now it will be just be the ECB, at least for um, banks who are uh, active in the Eurozone. Um, but there are still issues like, uh, well, most banks are working in the Eurozone, but also outside the Eurozone. There, there will be still colleges of supervisors, but um, for all the member states within the Eurozone, the um, uh, supervisors will be uh, represented by the uh, European Central Bank, and, and that is quite a difference from uh, the situation nowadays. Now, there have been some concerns amongst regulators that an EU banking union could create an unhealthy divide between those countries in the euro area and those outside. Is this likely to happen? Well, it, it is certainly a matter of concern uh, also for um, the banks. Um, because we want uh, that the integrity of the um, single financial market uh, is, um, is guaranteed and warranted. Um, we think that the proposal done by the Commission has already some safeguards to have uh, the right balance between, on the one hand, uh, the EBA, that means the European Banking Authority, representing all the supervisors uh, in the EU, and uh, then on the other hand the ECB. This uh, relationship has to be balanced. Um, and also, of course, the relationship between the ECB and the national supervisors. Um, and so, uh, yes, we think that on the one hand, um, the uh, achievement of um, having uh, a level playing field between all the banks can um, be in fact um, enhanced by this single supervisor mechanism and um, a good balance between uh, let's say the supervisors of the non-eurozone countries and the ECB uh, but it is something that um, uh, have to be worked on because it, it's not so evident because the, the ECB, of course, um, well, in the proposal of the Commission, they should, um, they are responsible for the coordination of the position of all the national banking supervisors uh, of the Eurozone in the European Banking Authority. That means this uh, committee of uh, national uh, supervisors. Um, they have to coordinate, but of course, if they coordinate, it's one block and it's, uh, it's, it's like an elephant in a room, you know. So the, the Commission is already um, providing for, let's say, safeguards for the non-Eurozone supervisors like the Bank of England or the Bank of Sweden. Um, and I think it, it is possible to um, combine both to have a good working uh, single market in financial services and on the, on, on the other hand to have this single supervisory mechanism for the Eurozone uh, member states. Some analysts I've spoken to have said to me that this consultation is quite literally the single most important event to happen to the EU all year. Um, if the union goes ahead, say next year, for instance, will this fix the financial crisis? Well, I agree that it's um, really a quantum leap. It's a major step forward um, in the 
financial supervisory architecture of um, uh, Europe and, and certainly the Eurozone. Um, it will certainly help to, first of all, um, see in an earlier stage that uh, a, a particular bank has problems because now for the large cross-border banks in the Eurozone, um, there will be one single supervisory mechanism. Um, and so the coordination between the national supervisors is actually uh, warranted in that uh, new architecture. And I think that will, um, of course, facilitate also, when there is really a crisis, um, it will facilitate the, um, uh, the management of the crisis, because um, now there is one single supervisor responsible for um, let's say the the soundness of um, of the banks and uh, more particularly also these large cross border banks um, and so financial stability in the eurozone will uh, be enhanced by this uh, single supervisory mechanism well sadly that's all we've got time for today thanks for joining me Guido however Ducas Copy TV will continue to bring you the latest updates and exclusive interviews so do stay tuned goodbye.